All right, so I thought I would show you basically what my room looks like before I get up and clean. Um, it's not horrible because I have been keeping up with my fly lady routines this week. Um, but it, obviously it needs some work. I got laundry everywhere and some stuff piled up. Um, and then here's the bathroom, which I'll be cleaning today as well. Um, not like a thorough cleaning, just my quick swish and swipe, which I'll show you all how that is done. All right, and that is basically it, and I'll be back in a little bit. Good morning. Um, I just wanted to show you kind of my fly lady routine here. Um, she says to break it up into uh, morning, afternoon, and evening, but honestly, I don't have... Um, a regular schedule since I work. It's just as I can squeeze it into my day, I do these things. So today is Wednesday and this does change from day to day and I just have like a little notebook that I use that I put it in and I fold up the pages that I've done. Um, so that way it's kind of a uh, encourager to show that hey you can get some of this stuff done. It's it, You do accomplish things. And Obviously, this list, there's days when I don't get everything done, um, and that's okay. Um, that's one of the things that she talks about is it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get everything done. This is what I would like to get done in a perfect day. Most of the time, I don't get it all done. Um, but anyway, this is kind of what I follow, and I learned that the declutter, she likes you to use, uh, take 15 minutes to declutter um, in one area of the house each week. And um, I've learned that if I don't do this in the order that I have it listed, I won't get to the declutter. I'll leave it off. So now I've made myself go in order. So we're going to go through this and I'm going to show you how I get everything done. So the first thing that I have on my list is to make my bed. Now this is obviously not going to be able to work if I have sippy cups and things like that. Um, I took the baby to my parents this morning, so they gave me some clothes that they had bought for Xander for uh, when it gets cooler. So I had all of that. I just kind of threw all my stuff here, um, which is totally not where it's supposed to go. So normally I just pick everything up and just kind of put it away or just throw it in an area for now. Um, I actually put my robe up because that's always on my bed, so I always put it exactly where it goes. Um, and then I just kind of, we don't use fitted sheets. We only have a comforter, so it does make this process a lot faster. Um, I just kind of pull all the sheets together. My husband uses a body pillow. So, I always have to pull that out of the way. Um, and then I just take the body pillow here and throw it like so. And just kind of straighten it up a little bit. This is when my perfectionism starts taking over as I want to make everything perfect. At least to look presentable. But anyway, so there you see. It only takes a few minutes to get your bed made. Okay, the next thing on my list is the swish and swipe. So this is my bathroom I showed you earlier. Now obviously in order to do the swish and swipe, I've got to get some of this stuff off the counter. I don't... I don't take everything off, okay? Because this isn't about doing a thorough cleaning of the bathroom. It's just about getting a daily maintenance type thing done for your bathroom, okay? So obviously I gotta put my brush up. I kind of knock my husband's brush to the side. Um, my razor, I'll put that away. And my hair color, I still haven't gotten around to coloring my hair. I will get that done eventually though. So I'm going to set that over there so it's not in my way. But everything else kind of just stays out in, on a daily basis. So um, I leave it like that. Underneath my sink, I have paper towels. And as soon as I get done with the roll, I put a new roll in so it's always ready to go. And I have a squeeze bottle. And I use you can use different clean, cleaners. One of the things that the fly lady talks about is that there's really no right or wrong way to clean. You don't have to use all these fancy cleaners and things. Um, in fact, she said for some things, 
you just take old soap that you don't like and use that, you know, if you don't like the scent of something you bought or something like that, use that to clean with instead. That way you don't waste it. So you don't feel like you uh, wasted money. And quite frankly, some of the other cleaners out there are expensive. So what I just do is I use Windex, <laughs> just plain and simple Windex. Okay. So what I do is I take my spray bottle I spray everything down just real quick, a quick spritzing. It's not supposed to be perfect. Not supposed to get everything, just a quick spritz. And then you know how you get the little tooth, right, toothpaste things on the sink? Or not on the sink, on the mirror from time to time? You just want to spray where you see that at. Okay. And then you take your paper towel and you start wiping it down. Again, the whole point is to be quick about it. It's not to be... This huge thorough job. Sorry, I'm having to step that over there. It's not going to be a big old thorough job. Just quick and to the point. Wipe everything down. Um, just get all the dirt away. All that kind of good stuff. And so you see, we're just doing, and it, we do this. Um, the fly lady mentions doing it every day. I noticed that it doesn't take me every day to do it to maintain it and make it look good. So I actually do it every other day. And it's just whatever works for your family. If you have, if everybody shares your bathroom, then obviously you would need to do it more often because it's going to get messy real quick. But I just share this bathroom with my husband and we're both kind of clean. So. It only takes a few minutes a day, and there you go. So that is the swipe part of that. And now we're gonna move on to the toilet. So with the toilet, I put the seat down, and again, I go spraying around. You spray back in here, uh, spray the top of the thing. Just spray everything down really quick. And of course, this actually doesn't take me as long as it's taken me to film it because, you know, having to hold the camera and stuff is a little more difficult. Anyway, and you can use regular rags too. Um, the Fly Lady actually sells some of her rags online. I just haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, we get these at bulk at Sam's, so I just don't worry about it. So I kind of get this area back here after I get the top and then I throw my thing away because that tends to be where a lot of the gunk lies in your bathroom around your toilet is that back area so then i just grab a new one and i wipe down all the rest of the stuff and since you stop started from the top of the seats and work your way down then your rag gets dirty as it goes which it's getting dirty on the dirty parts right okay so this is, that was all the swiping, okay? Then you do your swishing, which uh, this is where she mentions using some of your old soaps and things that you don't like. Inside my toilet bowl brush, I have soapy water in there. I don't know if you can tell, but there's water on my brush. You can see I'm getting it into my floor now. But anyway, it's wet, soapy water. And so whenever I go and I scrub, I'm actually cleaning it with cleanser. See how it's soaked up some now? Anyway, so I use that and I swish around real quick. And normally I do this a lot faster than what I'm doing. And then that's it. And then I'll put that back behind there, flush the commode, and throw the lid down. And then of course now I need to go wash my hands. But that is how I get my, my bathroom clean. Of course, I go and I put my cleanser up and my paper towels up and so they are ready to go for next time and that is it guys so we have swished and swiped our bathroom so do this every day and it helps to keep your bathroom clean and that way you know every now and then you're going to go and you're going to take everything off and do all that but that's not as bad as doing a thorough clean of everything from scratch so this is just kind of a daily maintenance thing just to keep all the dirt under control all right, and again, also with the toilet, you do the bottom parts later. Um, obviously, it looks like I need to get my bottom again. Um, you do it every so often, 
Doesn't have to be done all the time. You still have the illusion of having a clean bathroom without going overboard and without killing yourself cleaning it every day. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that part.